Hey everyone! Last year, I discovered the wonders of a dip powder manicure. I got one at the salon and I really liked it, but my only gripe was that it was a little bit thicker than I would like. It basically feels like you have acrylic nails on, um, which I guess you kind of do, it's just applied in a different way. But I really did like how easy it seemed to be and how strong my nails were after. I could grow them out longer and it was really nice. So I decided to buy an at-home kit and attempt to learn how to do it myself. So I've been doing those for a couple weeks now and I feel like the perks of doing them at home, obviously it's cost saving. Initially it's expensive to buy like a kit, but if you do it enough, then it kind of pays for itself because you're not paying like every time you go to the salon. But also I find that I can make them a little bit thinner and pretty much exactly like how I want it to be, I guess. It is nice to treat yourself and go to the salon every once in a while and like get all that stuff done and whatnot, get a pedicure, get a manicure, whatever. But it is also nice to just hang out at home, drink some wine and do your own little dip nails. Anyway, I'm limited to like the four colors that came in the kit that I got. One being clear, so it's not even really a color, it's clear. And then also I bought two other colors and like they're great and all, but I really wanted to do something different this time. So I thought that I would try my hand at making my own dip powder color. Now I've seen people do this for like acrylic nails, which I think is essentially the same stuff that you do for the dip powder. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I made two different colors for my nail dipping kit thing. So let's get started. You'll need clear acrylic powder, loose makeup pigments, glitter, a spoon, and little containers. So as I mentioned earlier, I have a dip powder kit and one of the powders that they included was a clear one. I'm gonna be using that one for my base today. I've seen that you can buy huge tubs of clear acrylic powder from beauty supply stores, but since I wanted to just test this out and I wasn't sure if I was gonna be doing more than two colors today, I thought that I would just use this. Spoiler alert, I freaking love making my own colors and I'll totally be buying a big tub of clear so that I can continue mixing my own colors. Anyway, I poured a few spoonfuls of clear into my container. I filled it up about halfway. I was going to try keeping the ratio at about half clear and up to half color and glitter. I assumed that would be a good amount where I'll be able to get the color I wanted, but it would still function as a dip acrylic powder. So here's my first loose pigment. It's a purpley blue color. I dumped some of that in and then mixed it around a little bit. Now the pigment tends to clump up on itself a little bit. You can see some chunks when I opened up the container. I ended up continuing to mix and shake up a bunch until those were mostly gone. But if you want to be absolute sure to get rid of them, you can mix these together in a mortar and pestle. Anyway, I wasn't happy with the color so I added more in. Quite a bit more. I wanted the color to be more on the translucent side. So I didn't put as much as I did the clear powder. So once I was happy with the color, I added some glitter. And then more. And more. I thought it looked good here, but I needed to test it out to see if it would really be the color that I wanted. If you've ever used nail powder before, you probably already know that the color of the powder is usually lighter than whenever you put it on your nail and then put a top coat over it. So I applied some to a nail swatch. I like to do three dips of color typically, so that's what I did with the swatch. And then I finish it with my top coat. And here's how it looks. And next, I wanted to do a solid color. Not so much a creme polish, because one of the colors that I chose to use was a shimmery color, but I just didn't want to add any more glitter to this one. So like before, I put some clear powder into a container, and then I dumped my colors. I did this shimmery green first, and then I decided I wanted it to be a deeper pine green color, so I added a ton of this brown pigment. Oh, and speaking of this brown pigment, you probably want to do this on top of some type of paper or something because, well, this is bound to happen. Thankfully, it cleaned up nicely with some rubbing alcohol, but it would probably be better to just avoid a mishap like that. Anyway, once this color was all mixed up to my liking, I made another swatch of it just like I did with the other color. And actually, this color ended up quite opaque. I could get away with just doing two dips of it, which I ended up doing in my manicure later. Anyway, 
Here in the swatch, you can see some of the green pigment had stuck together, and now it looks like a little dot on the nail. I don't really care that much, but that's something that mixing it in a mortar and pestle would help fix. Now, on to my manicure. Green is my favorite color, so obviously that's the one that I chose to put on my nails first. Basically, I just followed the directions that came with my kit. I applied the nail prep to all my nails, and then again, and then I applied the nail glue stuff, and then dipped that into the nail powder. I tapped the excess off and then continued on to do the rest of my fingers on that hand. Once I worked my way all the way around, I brushed off each nail, trying to aim it back into the container with varying levels of success. I repeated this again to do a second layer. Then I applied the glue activator. The glue from the second step dries pretty quickly, especially after you dip the powder, but just in case there are any spots that aren't 100% dried, this activator will harden them. And here's how they look now. I was tempted to just leave these as is. I really like the matte look of them, but alas, I wanted to make them match my other hand, which I went a bit further with. So then I used a file to file down any unevenness. Sometimes when you dip the powder and you have a bit too much glue on the nail, it can end up making thick points that you don't really want. And also, like I just mentioned, it has more of a matte texture at this point, so if you want it to be smooth at all, you need to kind of knock that down. So like on the other hand, I added some big chunks of glitter. It was this iridescent glitter. I put a small dab of the nail glue stuff right where I wanted the glitter, then I placed the glitter. And like before, I repeated this on all of my other nails. Then I coated the whole nail with the nail glue stuff and then dipped it into the clear to encapsulate the glitter piece. I brushed off the excess and then repeated this one more time. So in total, I had four layers of dip powder on, two color and two clear. I brushed off the excess and then applied the nail glue activator. I filed them smooth and finally I finished them off with a coat of my favorite top coat, Sesh Feet. And here they are. So here they are on my nails. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm excited about the potential new colors that I am going to be able to make in the future. If you liked this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, they'll be linked down below. And I'll see you next week. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you like my videos and have learned something from them, please consider supporting me on Patreon to help me continue to make them. It's totally optional, I'll still be making videos either way, it just helps me be able to put out better stuff. A link will be down below, or you can just click up here in the corner.